it's really unique to have this this perspective to have from from both sides so standing by for hatch open Houston Station, Dragon Hatch opened at 13.07. Copy. And there you have it. Dragon Hatch is open. Anne McLean made the call. It was 5.07 a.m. Pacific. I think 8.07 a.m. Eastern Time. I'm doing some quick math in my head, and that's the International <laughs> Space Station and Dragon dock together flying over the northern Atlantic about 255 statute miles in the air. So the Dragon hatch is open. You can see an arm and reaching this is, in. This is the very first time that humans have been on orbit inside of a Dragon 2 capsule. Or any, oh excuse me, not any Dragon, oh, a Dragon 2 capsule. <laughs> All right, Thanks. again, so it looks like David St. Jacques, he's gonna be the first one through. He's gonna take some quick atmospheric readings. Uh, he's using a device that we have over on the U.S. side. There he is, David inside, inside of Dragon. Human beings inside the Dragon spacecraft. You might hear some uh, cheers here from uh, SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne. Uh, this is just an incredible sight for the SpaceX team uh, to see these ISS crew members inside the capsule. And so they're going to use these two separate devices, uh, David using one and Ala Kononenko using another. And it takes them a couple of minutes usually uh, for the sample readers to gather what they need. And then they'll move back outside of Dragon. And again, just compare this to the generic background uh, readings that we have inside of another module on board the station. They should be heading over to the Destiny module, uh, just two, basically two doors down from Dragon now. Uh, and they'll compare that. And then